Hi everyone, it's Carly Walker with Child's Pose Yoga. Today we're doing alphabet yoga. I got Rocky with me. We're starting with the letter I, but first we're gonna do some breath. So you guys, here we go. Take a big breath, big breath in with your nose. Blow it out your mouth. That always makes us feel better. All right, let's get moving, you guys. So the letter I, we are first going to do ice cream pose. So can you guys make a big ball of ice cream with your hands, right? Let's stretch to the side. Oh, you know, sometimes you don't want it to fall off your cone. Good, stretch to the other side. What flavor are you? Let me know, tell me what flavor you are. Okay, it's time to melt. Here we go, you guys. First, melting ice cream, slow, as slow as you can go. And then I want you guys to go all the way down to the ground, as flat as you can go. Oh, your ice cream melted. Now, without using your hands, lift yourself up. Use some belly muscles, get those belly muscles going. When we're strong in our belly, it, it's so important, makes us strong. Okay, guys, let's see. What else do we have with the letter I? An Irish Setter Dog. Those are beautiful dogs that have red coats and they have a lot of energy. So Rocky's gonna say, I'm actually gonna do downward dog over Rocky. Okay guys, come into your downward dog. Hi Rocky. Okay guys, so you're a very excited Irish setter dog. Lift one leg, shake, shake, shake. Shake out that tail, like you are so happy your owner's home. Put that, that leg down. Lift up your other leg, shake, 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 shake. Good job. Good, stay in your downward dog, that feels so good. So you guys, you're looking at your feet, your hands are pressing into the ground, and take a big breath here. <sighs> so good. Come to your knees. Let's do a quick doggy breath. So I'm gonna come a little bit closer. Here's what that looks like. Big breath in, and then, right? It's another form of breathing. So if you're feeling frustrated or mad, think about dog breath. Big inhale, exhale. Good job, okay. What do we have next? So the next letter in the alphabet is J. So of course we have jellyfish. Come to a seat. We're gonna get those belly muscles gonna go, um, getting activated again, right? So when we lean back, your belly muscles, they fire up, good. Bring up those legs. Just make everything move. Now, jellyfish do not have bones, so we have to be as sort of fluid and, and moving around, right? Not stiff at all or anything like that. Could you bring one elbow to your knee? And then the other elbow to your knee? So good. Now, jellyfish can be big, make yourself big, or they can be small. Do it again, big, small. Good job. Okay, another breath in. Okay, guys, next is Jack Rabbit. They can run so fast. They can run 40 miles an hour. That's like driving in a car. It is amazingly fast. They have really big bunny ears. So let me see your big, big bunny ears. Now, here is bunny breath. Two in, one out. One more time. Good. You need that breath because we're gonna do some big bunny hops. So come with me, you guys. Go to the end of your mat and then take a big journey. Bunny jump. Boop. Rocky got a little scared. Now you get scared. Do it again, guys. Big breath in. Get those arms going behind you and then leap forward. So good. They can cover 10 feet when they jump. That is humongous. Okay, let's take another bunny breath. Breath makes us feel so good. So make sure to always be doing your breath. Okay guys, next we're gonna do kangaroo pose. That's our letter K. Okay, so kangaroos have good balance. They have a huge tail and it almost acts like a third foot. So let's pretend like we have that tail. Let's put it on the ground and let's lift one of our legs up. So this is called tree pose, but today I'm gonna to call it kangaroo pose. So pretend like you have a baby in your pouch, right? Mommy kangaroos can carry their babies in their pouch as part of their bodies for a really long time. A lot of good balance. Switch feet. Remember, even if you have a stuffed animal, right? You could hold that stuffed animal. Let's come to the other side. Toe can come down. If you're wobbly, come back up. Take a big breath in. Okay, so kangaroos, they have a really strong kick. They can kick really hard and they can hop really fast. So guys, we're gonna do some kangaroo kicks. Calm down into a downward dog to start. Take a breath here. Now, I want you to 
bend both knees and kick your bottom. Good. Do it again. This is our this is our strong kangaroo kick, which all start with K's. Big breath in. Oh, so good, you guys. Okay. Next is a lion. Lions are gorgeous. Now, when they roar, which is what we're gonna do, you can hear them from five miles away. And baby lions are called cubs. So in yoga, we always do a lion breath, right? So show me your lion paws. Can you take your gorgeous lion mane? Brush your lion mane. Now here comes the roar, big breath in. That is a lion's breath. Also like dog breath, it gets out all your energy, makes your body feel better. Let's do it again. Show me your lion claws, big breath in. Good. And lion starts with L, right? So that's our little letter L. Terrific, guys. Now, the opposite of a lion is a little ladybug, right? They're so beautiful, those tiny little ladybugs. And farmers love them because they eat lots and lots of insects and that protects plants. Also, um, ladybugs hibernate in the winter. So let's pretend it's cold, right? Shiver, shiver, give yourself a big hug, and let's come down into a child's pose. So bend your knees, fold over your legs. So we're gonna come into child pose, and today we're calling it ladybug pose. So here we go. It's winter time, take a big breath in. Okay, let's hibernate, guys. Forehead to the ground. Stay in your ladybug pose. Take a big breath here. And out. So good. You guys, that was our letter. Those were all of our letters. And it was so much fun to do yoga with you today. Talking about animals, talking about letters. Um, please keep coming back. We will keep moving up through the alphabet and doing fun yoga poses. So take a big breath with me. Blow it out. Okay, guys, I'll see you next time.